Today's video is gonna be a chill video. Sorry, my dog's trying to help my arm. Give me a minute. <laughs> Today's video is going to be a chill video. I want to talk about small habits that have changed. I don't want to say changed my life. That's a little bit dramatic. But small habits that have overall just helped me. Maybe you already do these things. Maybe you're looking for things to do to kind of improve your life. I feel like habits are a good thing to have because they create some sort of schedule some sort of routine in your life habits can be good and they can be bad we're talking about good habits good habits can become part of your life and they can help you grow as a person i feel like for me they help keep me time managed and i don't know i'm trying to explain a habit right now how do you really explain it it's just like something i do in my day that either makes me feel productive makes me feel ready for the day makes me happier whatever it might be so without further ado let's get into it first things first i cannot eat in the morning until i've had water i just need to chug some water and then i'll be good i don't know if this is a healthy habit it's not like necessarily a good habit however i feel like i've heard throughout my life like have eight ounces of water before you eat breakfast and i i think that's where i got it from like let's be honest but i think for me personally, and I ain't no scientist, but I feel like it kind of helps me like get prepared for what I'm about to eat. And I don't just go into, like straight into eating like eggs or something. I don't know. I just like to drink a little bit of water and then I like to let it sit. And then personally, number two, not go number two. Personally, my second thing, I like to have fruit before I eat too. Usually before breakfast and before dinner. Something about it makes me feel like mm, having some good fruit, having something sweet, and then I can have dinner or I can have breakfast. I don't know. I like it. Makes me feel good and healthy, I guess. I don't know. Just two things that I've like noticed that I do that just make me feel better. Going on the third thing. I like to read before bed it puts me in like a state of zen and especially if i've had like a not so good day i get way too invested into characters that i'm reading and like i almost become them essentially and reading other characters makes me feel like i didn't have the day i just had or i could have had a fantastic day and i'm like today was a great day let me go read my book. And I have like another day through my book. Does that make sense? It's like I'm living two different lives, but I'm actually only living my one life. And then if I have a bad day, I can go into a different life and hopefully it'll be better. But sometimes it's not that much better. And I just still read a book anyways for my own enjoyment and personal benefit. Anyways, um, yeah, I just like reading. It makes me feel, like I said, in a state of zen. Growing up, I've heard like reading for you is good. And I never listened to it. Like, oh my God. God, I hated reading. I was like, I quite literally do not see the point in reading a book. I don't know what occurred, but I enjoy reading now. Was never like that and did take a little bit to get into it and finding the genre I like. Habit number four, I make sure to, and it can be the smallest thing ever. I make sure to do something during my day or get something during my day that will cheer me up. It, I don't have to be in any type of mood. I don't have to be in a bad mood. I don't have to be in a good mood. I don't have to be whatever. I personally just like to go and get me something that's like a little pick me up. I cannot go through my day without getting a pick me up or doing something that's like kind of like a pick me up. So for example, when I'm home, I like to make my own coffees, but when I'm at school and I'm like, ugh, going class to class, I will go out and get myself a coffee. And like, listen, it's like $4, so yes, it adds up over time, but it's fine. Like, it's a little pick me up. Or sometimes at night when like I've gone through my whole day at school, I went to the gym, I did work, I will go to 
somewhere. Insomnia cookies, 7-Eleven, anything. And I will get myself a little snack. <laughs> I will get myself a cookie. I will get myself some gummies. I will do something that I can just have at night. And it cheers me up. It sounds so stupid and so minuscule. But I get that and I'm like, <laughs> I'm happy. And it's just nice. And it's just a small habit that I've picked up. You could call it a cost, not so friendly habit. But at the same time, like every time I get something, it's like max six dollars or it could be something that I don't even necessarily have to get it could be like man I'm kind of feeling groggy today I'm just gonna do a whole shower people know what I'm talking about the whole shower is like you wash your hair you do like a clarifying shampoo you do conditioner you do like a deep condition then you wash your body you shave your whole body and everything you just do everything and that can also be like a little pick-me-up that I do. Those aren't everyday habits, obviously, but it's like something I do. Number five. This is still very difficult and it's something that I'm working on. I like to push myself to my best ability to get me to work out. It doesn't necessarily have to be a full workout where like I'm going hard and like getting those gains. It doesn't have to be that. It can be like I go for a walk. I dance. I do something that will just be like physical activity. I feel like that helps me. It releases some endorphins. I get a little bit happier and it just makes me feel better. It makes me feel more productive. It makes me want to like get up and start to do more stuff. Don't push yourself obviously if you're like having a day and you're like I need to force myself to work out. Like don't do that. Like know your limits but try to get up and just like do something for 30 minutes it'll make you feel so much better be like okay just 10 minutes i'm gonna go out because i guarantee you like 95 to 98 percent of the time you're gonna stay out for longer because you're gonna be like oh this isn't that bad or when you're working out if you tell yourself i'm just gonna work out for 10 minutes you're gonna end up working out longer now i know this one kind of sounds stupid this is number six it kind of sounds stupid because like everybody should but making your bed in the morning really does help <laughs> and this was something when i was younger i was like i don't need to make my bed i'm going back in it at night why do i need to make my bed if i'm just gonna go back in it and mess it up it's stupid but it's not stupid having a clean space and having your bed be tidy is so nice because then you get into bed and it feels like it's just a fresh new bed i don't know why like Sometimes I can deal with like, okay, I didn't make my bed, like it's fine, I'll get back in at night, but then I have to make it the next day. There's like that military guy that like talks about making your bed in the morning and how it like sets you up for like success in life. You're completing a task the first thing you do in the morning and then it's clean. And then when you get back from whatever your day had to offer, there's a clean, nicely made bed for you. And you did that. Number seven, I like to write down to-dos for myself. So I like to write down things like I absolutely must do if it's like homework that is due the next day. And then I like to write down things that I would like to do. That's like, oh, I want to go with my friends to this place. Or like, I want to make a YouTube video. I'll write down those. And then I write down things that are like, if you have time in your day, so it's kind of like a little a little push for me to get things done. It's like, if you have time, then you should do this homework and it'll help you get ahead. So I like to write down to do's, kind of like the must do's, the should do and want to do, and then like the, okay, get to it, like if you have time, but like push yourself. I write that down on my calendar. It really does help keep me focused and keep me do what I need to do. I feel like I have remembered to do a lot more stuff and i feel like i do do a lot more stuff because i just write down like the things i gotta do and yeah super simple everybody does it but it does help this is number eight i don't do this every day i definitely should but i like to journal i find that i let things build up a lot and then i journal when i'm like i have reached a peak i am maxed out to the fullest cannot stand anything anymore and then I journal. But I'm gonna set this goal for myself. I should make it a habit to write down things every day. Because also, I look back at when I did, used to write in my journal consistently, and I'm like, oh my god, I love how I can see what like 14 year old Caden was thinking every single day. And I wanna look back in like five years and see what 
me is doing every day now because I'm not gonna remember every single second of my life. So yeah, that's kind of all I can think of. Those are the ones that I feel like have kind of helped me the most and the things I like doing the most. They've just made my life a little bit better in some ways. And I hope you can relate in any way. Let me know if you have habits that have helped you because always learning, always growing. I always would love to know what's going on in your life. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.